saying? Cause you heard from me and I'm gonna be real. You're not gonna be something that I'm not. She's never called me with a man. Do I know homosexuals? Yes. See, the only thing that she's doing is setting herself up for a lawsuit. You married me on the false pretenses. You said you love me, and nigga, you don't know if you want a woman or a man. And I said, that's some motherfucking shit that you should have told me before I said I do. I told you I said that she was unfair to me. That she was unfair to me. Because goddamn it, we could have made a motherfucking arrangement. You could have did what the fuck you wanted to do with whoever you wanted to do with. And I could have did the same damn thing. And we still could have been okay. But you a selfish ass motherfucker is what you are. You selfish. Two or three months later. Same shit. But this time you sending videos to different men. This time. Why you playing with me? And I said, damn, you don't know what the fuck you want. Yeah, Lee. And because I knew you was going to lie. And I hope that individual is actually watching me. I hope I, because one thing about it, like I said, I ain't gonna lie about nothing that I do. But anyway, I, what I did was I turned your damn phone up in the sky like this so that they couldn't see that it wasn't you on the damn FaceTime. And I waited until I heard, and it, hello. And when they, hey, baby, and I popped that damn phone down. I said, hello. May I speak to Barbara? Barbara, this is Shirley. You might not know who I am, but the reason I'm calling you is because I was going through my old man's pockets this morning, and I just happened to find your name and number. This is Mrs. Matthews. This is not your baby. Ooh. Nah, you ain't got to do no damn ooh. I said, listen, I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to keep it real with you. You can hang up in my face. You can tell me to get the hell off your damn phone. You ain't got to answer no damn questions if you don't want to do so. That's because honestly, I ain't got no damn business calling you. That's but I'm calling you in hopes that you gonna be honest with me. That's because his ugly ass damn show ain't being honest. What you wanna know? I said, well, I'm sure you know by now that if I'm calling you from his phone, that means I've seen y'all text messages and your videos. Yeah. I said, so I just want to know what the hell going on. Well, you know, he said that he ain't never loved you. I love my wife. And, you know, y'all don't sleep together. I said, we don't. I said, and if we were, we damn sure ain't no more. Oh, well, well, I owe you an apology because at the end of the day, that's your husband. I said, you don't owe me shit. I said, the person that owe me the respect is my husband. And I said, and that motherfucker ain't worth two damn dead flies on a motherfucking cockroach. I said, so I don't, he, don't, he ain't going to give me shit. I said, but it's okay. I said, but I appreciate you for being open and honest and talking. Well, I'm going to say this. I won't deal with him no more and I'll just tell him don't call me. I said, no, you can deal with him if you want to. I said, I, what I am doing is I'm calling everybody on the damn list to let y'all know. Because I see he been lying to my son. He been asking me for a divorce and I won't give him one. I said, he's a damn lie. I asked for the damn divorce first and the bastard hollered about, no, nah, he was going to fight it. So the next time he calls you about how he want to be with you so much. Tell that motherfucker to prove it. Tell him, sign them papers and see what he tell you. I said, if he tell you that I won't give it, tell him you're a lie because Melanie called me. I said, because I'm not going to delete this conversation. So he going to be able to see that I FaceTime your baby. So let him know I sure did. He was like, okay. I said, all right, so you have a nice night. You too. Okay, I will. I spoke to some women too. Mm-hmm. He was telling ass some of the same damn lies. And one woman he was telling and come to find I see they messages with each other. She, uh, she had the audacity to be married too. So I told her, I said, baby, let me tell you something. You might want to go on head on and let your husband know that you having an affair with my husband. I said, cause she is, since I know, I said, we all need to know. We don't need to be keeping no motherfucking secrets. She was like, what? I said, tell your motherfucking husband that you and my husband having an inappropriate ass relationship. Since I know she, he need to know too. So you gonna tell him or am I gonna tell him? I said, now I'm gonna give you an opportunity to tell his ass before I inbox him with receipts. Okay, I ain't gonna text him. I don't give a fuck if you do. I'm just letting your ass know. Let your husband know. Cause he deserves to know. Hell, I had to find out. She and your husband need to know too. Yup. Now let's fast forward to some of these damn videos. I ain't never in my life seen somebody be able to wrap their hand. You can't bend over to tie your motherfucking shoe, but you can reach your motherfucking arm to the back to yourself, Ooh, nigga. Fuck. Oh Why you fucking playing with me? Do you remember he made the phone to my son? It's illegal to go through somebody's phone. One thing that the women don't understand, that it's illegal to go through somebody's phone.
Oh, the lie detector determined that was a lie. You a motherfucking lie. We married. What's yours is yours and what's mine. What's yours is mine. What's mine is yours at that particular moment, sir. And it ain't defamation of character or slander if you got the fucking proof to prove it. You gave me permission to go on your damn phone and your tablet. You gave me the code so you can go to hell because you're going any damn way at this motherfucking rate. Playing with me. You told me to tell them. So, get damn it. I'm telling them. I done seen you bent all the way over. Talk about y'all at the damn church in the sanctuary. Didn't want to give communion after the fact. What the fuck? Why you playing with me? So, y'all wonder why I said I wanted a divorce. It's because I was sick of this shit. And after I found out, found out that you didn't know whether you wanted me or a man, I was done. Here I am laying around here, hot and horny all the damn time while you up there daydreaming about balls. I would have been said this shit, but out of respect for Dominique and Jocelyn, I said I wasn't going to fucking do it. And I told you, you miserable because you ain't living in your damn truth. And if you were going to ever live in your truth, now is the fucking time to do it. Because don't nobody give a damn what you like. I've been telling you that. I've been over there fucking depressed, crying at night. In a room by my damn self, wondering why the... And then you still want to try to paint this damn picture like I'm some fucking evil ass, desperate ass, uh, vindictive ass woman. And you know that ain't the truth. Because you don't give a fuck about me. You don't give a fuck about him. Her. You like the drama. I could have said the shit last night, but I was still trying to spare your ass. Hoping that you was just going to shut the fuck up. But now nah, that wasn't good enough. You going to get your ass on there tonight talking again. You don't give a fuck about him. Her. Yeah. Oh yeah.